Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a really simple Christmas look. It shouldn't be too hard. You know, on Christmas you're probably stressing about food and presents and clothes so and you want to look cute too. So without making it too stressful, this is going to be very plain and simple. You're going to need a few products and um, I'm going to use a particular product um, or products that make life just so much easier. So before I get into that, I would like to talk about these Ana Luisa jewelry. Guys, you know, I mean, they keep hitting me up and I keep loving their stuff. So, you know, if I keep flaunting their jewelry, that's not my beef. You know, I love it. So the company Ana Luisa, there's four things about them. They are carbon neutral, they have fair prices, they have incredible jewellery, so the quality is amazing, and they have also limited batches. So to get into those, so fair prices, they do start from $39, which would be like £39 here, I believe, when they convert it over. Um, and the quality of these products are incredible. So I have three pieces on right now. I have an earring set, I have a necklace set, and I have a ring as well here. They currently have an offer going on for people outside of um, obviously the US because it is a New York based branch um, or company. So they have a buy one, get one 40% off. So the first one will be full price, second one will be 40% off, which is actually quite decent. And it's like their biggest sale they have so far because again, holidays, Christmas presents, you know, there's there's, there's tiny little things. It's, it's the simplest things like jewelry that actually can make a person's day. So I believe that's probably why they have a really big sale going on. Okay, so starting off with the Cardi set, um, um, this is 115 pounds it has it's a layered necklace um you have this one here which is basically a moon or crescent moon and then you have this part here which is a little bit shorter and it's a star with like a little diamond piece uh in the middle which i really really like i love this piece i love a good layered necklace in my previous video i believe i had the same or a similar layered necklace and I do love myself some layered necklaces okay this piece this is called Chloe this is 53 pounds I accidentally bought a size way too big for my fingers but you know we'll make it work somehow but this is kind of like a um plaited ring I'm not really sure what to call these uh designs it's like a plaited type ring and it's really beautiful goes all the way around really lovely material as well really sturdy and then the earrings these are called crews they're 76 pounds yeah same on both sides really lovely I actually chose this piece in particular because it matches the necklace so if you look at the earring and then you look at the necklace they both have a similar um design so i chose them so they would actually match together so yeah this one's 76 pounds really lovely okay so yeah these are the pieces that i currently have really really like them um i'm gonna put a link down below for you guys to click on if you want to grab anything again they do have a really big holiday sale going on if you want to get some nice stocking fillers or a little presents for the someone you cherish in your life so yeah that's that on the pieces so let's get into the video Okay, so I've already primed my eyes with some Morphe Eyelid Primer and Translucent, so they're already done. Um, when I think of Christmas, I think of browns and golds. I don't necessarily think of reds. I think too much red on the face might be a bit crazy because, you know, I think red lips maybe for Christmas. So um, for an eye look, I think more of browns and gold so the quickest way for me i'm thinking just to go about it is to start off with some browns so i'm going to use this palette this i literally bought yesterday this is the Alyssa edwards anastasia beverly hills um collab um i'm not gonna lie to you i feel like i know who this Alyssa edwards is but i don't know who she is but regardless it is a gorgeous palette i ain't gonna lie to you so what i'm gonna get started on i think i'm gonna start off with this shade here which is called hoe which basically means how i'm gonna start off with her i'm gonna take that on a fluffy brush because i don't know how pigmented this is i'm just gonna start on the center of the eyelid and just pat it on and then we go back and forth a little like that start off it is honestly going to be a really simple dimple eye look. We ain't going to go too crazy. Because who's got time? I mean, unless you do. But who's got time? You know, on Christmas, you just... Sometimes people just want to get over and done with. It's just like the anticipation of presents and, and you know, family gatherings. So I am just packing this on. 
you see i'm not going too crazy with it obviously go about it depending on your eye shape but for my eye shape i'm just going a little bit higher and blending back and forth like this making sure the edges um are blent out i mean as much as possible Okay, so now that you've got your base on, this is how I'm starting off. So you take a lighter brown first. Now I'm gonna go in, into a darker brown. So I'm gonna take this color here, which is called Back Rolls, which is much more of an earthy brown. I'm gonna take some of this. Again, depending on your eye shape, you might wanna focus most of this on your outer corner of your eyes, um, or, cause I'm gonna put it on my outer and my inner corner. So depending on your eye shape or how you wanna style this out, I'm gonna start first on the outer corner because I want to create somewhat of like a halo eye but I want the center of my eyes to be the main focus you know so I'm going to start on the outer corner like this I usually start by packing on the first bit of product on the eyes so that if I start blending it I'm not going to have just one solid line and just ending it right at the uh, where the bottom eyelash corner meets and then I kind of like gently buff it upwards to blend in with the brown and then I take a little bit of the brown and I just go over it like that just to blend them in then I go back in with that deep brown Now I'm going to go in the inner corner, so like this, so right from the inner corner and then buffing it inwards. Like that. Now as you can see the center has uh, this little spotlight so I'm just trying to really highlight that area by accentuating the outer and the inner corner like that okay so that to me is okay whatever you put on after that if you lose the color if you blend it with the light brown and the dark brown you can always bring it back so it's, it's not that deep so if you start to lose a bit of color when you're blending it, don't worry, you can always blend it back in. Okay, so we have a brown base and we've got a deeper brown on the outer and the inner corner. Now what I'm gonna go with, because this palette has a gold in it, I'm just gonna use it. Um, this is called Inspire. It's a like a uh, champagne gold. I'm gonna use this as a base. Um, it's not necessarily gonna be my main color. I'm just gonna use it as a base. So I'm taking it on my finger because that's where you get the most pigment. And I'm just gonna pack it on. This stuff, ooh, just sauce. This stuff is um pigmented. So I'm just gonna pack it on. Don't worry too much about perfection at this point because we need to blend the colors back in. So just pack, 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 pack. It don't have to be too perfect. Okay, so now taking the brush that I used with the first color, the Ho color, I am just gonna take it and I'm just gonna buff these edges right in like that. So wiping the excess off of my hand and just, you know, buffing that in like that. Tap, 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 tap. Nothing too crazy like that. So now you see, it looks like it's blent in. Just like that. A bit of tapping, a bit of blending with a brush, that's fine. I'm not gonna lie to you. The product that I really want to use is getting a little bit dry, but bear with me, okay? So this product is the Rimmel Wonder Swipe 2-in-1 li Liner to Shadow. These things are incredible. You should check them out at your nearest Rimmel stand. Um, this one's in uh, 002 Insta Famous. Now this, you can literally use it as a sparkly, sparkly liner or you can use it as a shadow. So what I'm gonna try and do, cause this stuff is pretty much 
almost dry and I need to get some more. Um, I'm going to take this, right? I'm just trying to get as much as I can. Whatever I have left on here, I'm just going to swipe like this right on the center. You see how gold that is and how sparkly it is. Now with my finger, I'm just going to wipe and pat in like that. Now, as you can see, I didn't use much, but what it left behind is really, really nice. Really shimmery. It really stands out, honestly, and it looks gorgeous. All right, so now what I'm going to do at this point, you know, the main focus is really the top part of your eyes, isn't it? So if you want, you can always just go straight into lashes or mascara, or if you want to just really complete the look, I'd probably add a little bit on the bottom lash line. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to add a little bit of that back rolls, the deepest um, brown that we have in the palette, this one back here. And I'm just going to run that along the lash line. Not too heavy. Again, depending on your eye shape I, or your preferences. To me, I'm not a particular fan of really, really heavy, heavy um, lower lash line shadow. Just on my eyes, though. On some eyes it just looks incredible, but for me I'm okay with it being quite light, light-handed. Okay, now to just top it up a notch, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the Maybelline Tattoo Liner. It's very small because it's one of my favourites in brown. This is a gel pencil. I am just going to use this and I'm going to run this along my waterline. Like that. And just taking the pencil on its side running it along the lash hairs like this so that gives you a little bit of a smudge then I take a handy dandy cotton bud and I just blend it like this not too much and there you go you got a blend lash line just like that okay at this point you could leave it like that mascara lashes whatever lips you want you're good to go me because i'm being extra and because i like to be extra i'm going to take another one of the wonder swipe um, rimmel products in 001 slay uh, i'm going to take some of this and i'm going to run it just underneath here just underneath my lashes a very thin line right and then i'm going to blend it with my finger and this just adds some sparkle under the eyes as well. It's not crazy. It's a little bit delicate. Um, you're not looking like, you know, a Christmas tree. You're just looking cute, you know? Uh, what's wrong with that? Right, so that is basically eyes done. Um, if you want to see, I'm just going to finish it off with lips in a bit. So I'm going to put lashes and then I'll just skip right through to lips. Just in case you're unsure of what to pair it up with, I will give you some options. Okay, so for the lips, I'm going for red. Um, but you have loads of different choices, obviously. You could go for something like this, which is a Revlon Cushion Lip Tint. Um, it is very... It's, it's, it's Just as it says, it's a like a tint for your lips and um it's very light it's very cushiony it's very soft if you're looking for more of like a a soft lip look this is something you would go for or you could go for more of a red like this which i'm gonna go for so i'm gonna line my lips with the um MUA Intense Colour Lip Liner in Agenda and I'm going to use the lipstick by YSL in 01. This is Rouge Pour Couture. Couture. Rouge Pour, Pour, Pour Couture. Hmm, something like that. Tongue twister. Okay, so this is the final look. And yeah, again, a very quick, very simple, I mean, somewhat quick, somewhat simple. It just takes a few um, techniques here and there to blend it and a few products, you know, to get to that point. So, you know, 
I mean, I really like it for a quick Christmas look. I think this is quite decent. So, you know, a little bit of a gold look for Christmas is not too bad and a red lip. So yeah, yeah, pretty much that is the makeup look. And before I end the video, again, I wanna thank Anna Luisa for sending me these particular items because I really, really love them. Again, they do have a holiday sale going on. I do love these very much. And because this one's a little bit too big for me, I'll probably end up gifting this to someone um, because why not? Christmas is about gifting. So I'll probably end up gifting this to someone because yeah, it's a bit too loose for me. It's Although it's incredibly gorgeous, it just doesn't fit me. But everything else I love. So yeah, link is down below in the description so if you guys did enjoy please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye